have nieces, I have nephews, I have a son. And even though I, I feel that I shouldn't have to worry about my son because he's college educated, he's graduated, he has a good job, but he's a black man. And if he gets pulled over, they don't ask about any of that. So just think about that when you want to judge why these young men are dying because the news has told you that he sold drugs, he had a gun, he was a criminal. You don't know that for sure. You're just going by what the media and the media demeans these young men and make them look like they're criminals and make them look like they did something wrong when they didn't. I'm just asking y'all just to keep my family in prayer. My sister suffers every day because that was her only son. And just think and just lay down when you look at your family that it could be yours. You could be in the same position that we're in. So before you judge, think about that. If you have kids, think about that. Because that can happen. I have two grandsons. I'm scared to death. They're only five, but I'm scared to death for them to get of teen, become teenagers. In this world that we live in today, where the police could do anything they want, and they already know, ain't nothing gonna happen. Police around the country already know that it's nothing gonna happen to them. They will never be held accountable for what they do to the citizens. We're living in this, we're living in the six, this is Ku Klux Klan all over again. They're lynching people all over this country again. We're a different generation. My son is 25, he said they're the angry generation. We cannot allow this to keep going on and on in the future. They're exterminating us. And if you don't think so, just read. That's what I do. I read and I research. That's how I've learned so much about what's going on. And no, I can't say that I thought about this when Marquise was alive because I did. My heart went out to these people. But until it hit my front door, I never thought. So I learn a lot. And we're, we're being lynched every day. Every day. This year, from January to this month, there is 769 murders by police in this country of today. What does that say? And no police are being held accountable. This contract is good. It's 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 good. It's